What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host and vacation boy, Zach, joined by our actual voice actor, Wes. I'm your voice actor and hurt wrist boy, Wes. Wes. What'd you do? Jerking Not it too hard? Jacking it. Damn, yeah. <laughs> well, folks. Uh, Same wavelength. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also joining us, we've got our actual lawyer, Pridge. What if Wes is Ambi Jack Dextrous? <laughs> and he need, <laughs> that he need, that he need two cones. That he's going to break the other wrist, too. <laughs> hey, join our Patreon to find out the answer to all your save data questions. What will break first, the skin on his wrists or the skin on his <laughs> Your left wrist or your right wrist? <laughs> Or your dick. <laughs> God damn it. How am I going to make anything out of this? Uh, <laughs> hey, folks, if you like this, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash save data team every Wednesday night at 730 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and hey, if you want to support us, you can head over to patreon.com slash save data team. Just like the wonderful folks you're going to hear about in this song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Les, Bandicoot Commando, Cud, Dave, Shadow Navi, and Sofino. HSM, Earn, Suna, Yama, Antelester, Kevin, Asian, and Alucha. Shout out to Jacob Bell and A73, Elijah Slanik, Cole, and Mystic Woody. Surf Boy Man, Jad Wap, Rick Pat, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat. Alex, Forensic Back, Fofilla, Written Word, Art. And Sibylla. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Uh, thank you so much to all those wonderful folks. Uh, and hey, folks, another important announcement before we get started. Uh, Ooh, Pridge, Pridge has to return home, uh, like all Italians do, uh, to the river in which they are spawned. He has to swim upstream. They're up the river sticks <laughs> uh, to continue his family line. So for the next two weeks, Pridge is going to be gone in Italy, uh, yeah. living that fantastic lifestyle yeah, that yeah, all yeah. those Italians he's, do. Uh, and <laughs> and he's, he got he's going to get isekai to the underworld and then have to make his way out. <laughs> oh, this is like Pridge and Hades. Is that what you're going mm-hmm. for? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Pompeii. Hopefully a volcano doesn't erupt on me. <laughs> warp, warp. Uh, but folks, that does in fact mean that for the next two weeks, there will not be Ace Attorney streams. However, <gasps> Zach, what are we going to do? We're going to play Deltarune. Because <laughs> uh, I figured there's a decent amount of crossover there. And uh, also, you know, we haven't played Deltarune yet, and that was one of our obligations yeah. we have to do all. So. Uh, also, one other thing. Please go check out the WWE 2K 2022 video. Uh, it is genuinely some of the funniest content I think we've done. Uh, it kicks off with Pridge teaming up with Phoenix Wright in a tag team wrestling match. It's Buck Wild. Also, Wes wrestles with Kermit the Frog, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, Rockley. Rockley is there. It gets fucking wild, so please go check that out. Pete, Pete is there, <laughs> back from the fucking dead. Uh, it was absolutely insane. Uh, so please go check that out. It, it, it was a ton of fun, and a lot of production value went to that. So uh, I hope you like it. But, folks, why don't we play a video game? Yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, Zach, you ready to be the judge? Yeah, you know, remember when somebody cheered a thing like, Zach, you better commit to this voice because you're going to have to do it in case five. And all of you and me, Wes, were like, no, that's not true. It's true. Yeah, no, he's in it the whole time. I God forgot. fucking damn it. That's fine. At least it gives me something I to do today. I forgot that it was him. That's fine. Everybody gets to hear more of my Canadian accident. <laughs> I forgot that's what he called it. That's very yep. funny. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Iris. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm sorry you have to find out you, this way. <laughs> honestly, honestly, if you really are Dahlia, you don't deserve that. <laughs> Truly. For, Not even... even with your double your double homicide doesn't deserve Larry feeling this way about you. 
Right when now, right feelings now, for you absolutely violates the Eighth Amendment as yeah. cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> yeah. Not even a question. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. Okay. Oh, my. Mr. Larice feels that way about me? I need to go vomit. A lot. <laughs> Sorry. Where's the nearest bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't make it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to use this plant. That was my cravat. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just the family guy. It's the guy family guy bit. Yeah. Yeah. Probably <laughs> at each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, he isn't aware of your real secret at all. This is no time to be embarrassed. Wait, wait, wait. What is her real secret? Yeah, no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Don't ask me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, did you say this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a jackass. Read it I'll again, it please. Again. I'll say it again. <laughs> this is no time to be embarrassed. I'm sorry. No, she's crying. And she cries a lot. Yeah. Like a little I'm baby. Just... Like a little baby. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Hardly accustomed to that sort of thing. You're a nun. Worry I not. would fucking hope so. <laughs> Worry not. He's actually a closet incel. <laughs> in any case, whatever it That's was. That's worse. That, <laughs> that, makes, that <laughs> would make me worry more. Yeah. <laughs> and in any case, whatever it was that he saw on the night of the incident. Mark my words. I will drag it out of him. Does that mean... Mr. Larice is the witness today? No. I believe that nun will be the first to take the stand. Bikini! Sister Bikini. She claims to have seen the very instant in which you carried out the crime. That whore! I just want to ask you one last time. It really wasn't you who killed Miss Elise Stonim, correct? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, <woo. laughs> that is correct. It wasn't me. Very well, then. Um, Mr. Edgeworth? Thankfully, Edgeworth is immune to Iris's charms. If only, if only, if only she was in clown makeup, then it would work. <laughs> that one's for y'all. <laughs> That's an internet reference. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes? You are a prosecutor, aren't you? Oh, so that goes loud. I don't want anyone know to know. <laughs> Keep it down. <laughs> I lose my street cred. Are you sure about this? If your true identity is revealed, absolutely still, no one will care. I still don't care. No one. This is an issue. No one can know that I am secretly Miles Edgeworth, man. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, a mild mannered Miles, is secretly Miles, man. God damn it. Don't worry. I've taken the necessary steps. What does that flash mean? Flash forward. <laughs> flash forward. It shows Edgeworth like leaving the judge's house, and the judge is like tied up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was just gonna say it was Edgeworth putting on those glasses with a big nose and a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just Edgeworth going back and forth from the judge's stand to the pros to the defense attorney stand and being like, "Order, order." <laughs> Yes, Your Honor. The prosecution would like to call its first witness. <laughs> you have? Iris, it is a prosecutor's job to doubt people. But right now, I'm a defense attorney. A defense attorney's job is to believe in people and to believe until the bitter end. I mean, you can straight up know your client's guilty and not believe in them, and you can still be a defense attorney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't actually have to believe in them. That's you, can fuck, you can fucking hate their guts and just want their money. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a friend of mine told me once. A good friend named Evidence Raw. Mr. Edgeworth. 
You may pass judgment on me from the defendant's chair. You are the one to decide. No, that's the judge. Whether or not I am able to do the task I have been entrusted. <laughs> I still think that's the judge who passes judgments. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, sir. I leave my defense in your capable hands. Ooh, starting right on the dot. I, I gotta know, say, I this like is it. the most punctual court. Pritch, are, here's a question I don't think we've ever asked. Are courtrooms this punctual? Like, do they fucking start when they're supposed to start right on the dot? Is that, like, common? Can I take a guess? Or, I, don't, I mean, I, I don't know. I can't. I, I don't think I've been yeah. in enough courtrooms to have enough of a sample size. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I, my guess is going to be just, no fucking way. Yeah, I can't. I can't believe that. No fuck. Yeah. I mean, dockets are pretty scheduled out in advance. I mean, it, it also depends on the matter. Like, if you're going through a bunch of, like, pretty routine matters, then, yeah, I can imagine a judge can, mm -hmm. you know, start the 10 o'clock thing at 10 o'clock, the 11 o'clock thing at 11 o'clock. But, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you got, like, a big giant... Again, it also, it also depends on whether the lawyers are on time, whether the client... So, I, guess, I mean, it depends on a lot of things. If everyone's there on time, right. there's no reason why it shouldn't. But if lawyers mm -hmm. are running late, you know... Right, things are running late. Trying to get the prisoner from the jail cell to the courtroom. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to court. Let's go to court. Bam. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, here we go, baby. Uh, I'm gonna take off the sunglasses. Oh, it's really bright. Canadians here. notorious for not wearing sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. Court is now in <laughs> session for the trial of Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple. Uh, def <clears throat> <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Are you okay, Mr. Edgeworth? I'm fine. I, I'm not <laughs> okay, definite prosecutor Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I totally know who you are. Just because just, just I don't... Just cause just because it's been a while doesn't mean I don't know who the prosecutors in this area are. Just because your Miles. suit isn't yelling at me doesn't mean I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're pretty famous and in the paper a lot, so yeah. most people know who you are. Also, you disappeared for like a fucking year. What are you doing back here now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, motherfucker. Oh, no. <laughs> It's the invisible prosecutor. <laughs> it's the invisible man as a prosecutor. Inviso Bill. <laughs> the defense does indeed appear to be ready. However, the same cannot be said for the prosecution in this case. Edgeworth is just like, <sighs> oh, I feel such a need to be ready. To run side. over there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The prosecution this, is ready! Ooh. I guess this means I win on default. Another <laughs> victory for defense attorney Edgeworth. Another flawless execution. <laughs> I am want to know as a defense attorney. Go yeah, me. Like, Wait a minute. I kind of like this defense attorney thing. I've never <laughs> lost before. <laughs> Perfect record! Take that, Manfred! <laughs> Indeed. I'm not sure I like such a blatant waste of this court's time. An empty prosecutor's chair can only mean... What if Phoenix just showed up at the prosecutor's <laughs> side? Whoa. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> that the no, it's Jin Yap. <laughs> <laughs> that the prosecutor has no confidence in their ability to prove their case. Damn, he's like, they didn't show up because they were scared. Yeah, are you sure it's not traffic? It seems like no, they're like, ch -ch -ch chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it would seem this case is over before it had be was already over before it had a chance to begin. Excuse me, that those were American chickens. I'm, I'm sorry. Canadian chicken. This Fuck guy just me. said. I'm ready to announce my verdict at this time. The court finds the defendant. That's wow. not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works at all. This fucker is punctual. Yeah. If you are not there by 10.01, you lose. The idea, the idea of like, 
yeah, sorry, your fucking defendant or prosecutor, like, didn't show, you are fucked. It's Not even hilarious. didn't show, is, like, three minutes late yeah. at most. Yeah. <laughs> we have no evidence that substantial time has passed. This is, like, three minutes late. Yeah. <laughs> this court finds the defendant. Oh, oh shit! Uh oh. oh damn it. <laughs> Bridge, did you see that coming? No, actually, I didn't. <laughs> oh, shit. It's very good, yeah, actually. Uh -huh. a, a bitter sibling rivalry. Mm -hmm. Also, genuinely, we'll get into it in a second, but genuinely fuck Francisca for showing up as the prosecution on this case. <laughs> oh, yeah. And showing up late. <laughs> Come on, Franny. <clears throat> the prosecution stands ready uh, and you are and this von karma prosecuting prodigy v von karma you say perchance you wouldn't be of any relation to the legendary prosecutor manfred von karma say that name and i'll kill you judge <laughs> <laughs> legends are a thing of the past i am an von karma that is all. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. It's a good line. That's, that, that, that's, yeah. that's called character that's a cool growth. Line. Yeah. Yeah. Upon a special request, I flew in today for the purposes of prosecuting this case. <laughs> it was like, wait, did you also charter a private jet? That's fucking wild. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it was way bigger than your stupid jet. <laughs> and it had a built-in mini bar with free booze. <laughs> That I was allowed to drink even though I'm underage. So even though I'm like 16. <laughs> when I took off, I could drink, but but when I landed, I, I so, could not. <laughs> I got so white girl wasted on the plane. You wouldn't believe it. Ain't no laws when you're drinking white claws. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Once again, as a lawyer, that is true. <laughs> When you yeah, are no drinking laws. a white claw, drinking... the laws of the, the United States no longer apply to you. Wow. Chat, Only you can take that to the bank. The yeah, and guys, that is laws. <laughs> that is my absolutely complete, ser completely serious, not sarcastic legal advice. <laughs> slash, slash J. Listen, he clarified. Oh, damn it. You had to say slash J. Got with the Wait, slash is, J. I was slash joking. J? Mm. What does like, slash J mean? It means you're joking. Oh, okay. It's like when you type it out, it's a Discord thing. Anyways. Okay. okay. You did? Then this might be... <laughs> oh! Okay, I was wondering why people were referencing Deltarune in the chat. Then you must be quite a big shot, eh? By the way, Mr. Edgeworth. Problem? I'm almost certain that I've seen you somewhere before. Or heard your name before. Or heard your annoying objection before. Or am I just imagining things? You look very much like a prosecutor I met once. I believe you are imagining things, Your Honor. <laughs> Miss Von Karma, do you have anything to say about this man that I may or may not have met before? There is no such weakling as this man among those of the prosecutor's office. There... There isn't, but I'm sure once before, oh! I told you, there is no such weakling. What is that? A whip? <laughs> I'm not sure I care for such a thing in my courtroom. This guy's like, what is this kangaroo court that my brother's been running in here? B Bailiff, remove that whip and... Oh. I have no objection to the whip. That's not yours to decide. I said I don't want it in my court. I don't fucking care what you think about it, guy. I think I'm pretty sure I've seen before. I don't want it. You don't? The prosecution can wield a whip or drink 17 cups of coffee. Reference. That is not it's a coffee thing. Yeah. Or carry a really taser. Hot. Or be really hot and be named Miles Edgeworth. It matters not to me. <laughs> but there is still only one truth. That is what I stand here to prove today. 
This promises to be interesting. Miles Edgeworth. Am I the only one questioning why you both have the same name and seem to maybe, but maybe not know each other? What's going on with that? <laughs> well, I don't have the same name. Oh, you know what? You got me on that one. You very much got me on that one. They don't. <laughs> I had expected to face Phoenix Light here today. But looking at you now. Oh, he fell off a bridge. Yeah. Maybe this is what I have been waiting for all this time. This? <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, I will not allow this chance to crush you slip through my fingers. Oh, heck yeah. No, no, you. <laughs> <laughs> I see you brought your flair for the hist histrionic? Histrionic? Yeah. Yeah. What does histrionic mean? Like I believe it just history? means. I believe it Historical. just means. Yeah, it's, it's, it means dramatic or theatrical. I have huh. never heard that word before. Yeah. There you it's, go. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fancy way to call someone. It's a fancy way to call someone dramatic. Yeah. Interesting. I like that. I'm going to use that. Allow me to add there for the dramatique. <laughs> That's good. Allow me to add the things I'm not sure about. People acting bizarrely in my court. Ah! No, he went. <laughs> you know, he did. Come on, get down with the sickness, eh? <laughs> Your mother get up. Come on, get down with the sickness. <laughs> the madness is the gift that has been given to me. God damn it, Bridge. <laughs> I was going to say that last one, but I was eating a cherry and you beat me to uh -huh. it. <laughs> the stage is set. Now continue with the proceedings, Your Honor. Very well, Miss Von Karma. Please... I guess I'm just going along with this. Yeah, now. whatever. <laughs> Miss Von okay. Karma, please give an outline of this case with as little whipping as possible. She has her bowl and she's like, <laughs> damn it. The murder victim is the famed picture book author, Miss Elise Donim. Again, she really prefers just to be called an author, but sure. Or a children's author. Yeah. But... <laughs> The body was found in the Hazakura Temple Courtyard. She had been stabbed through the torso by a ceremonial sword from a golden statue. The sword in this picture. Is this the weapon in question, correct? Very well. The court accepts this photo of the crime scene. <laughs> there is no mistake. This was a doing of Sister Iris. After all, there is a witness to her crime. Very well. Please bring this witness to the stand. And we don't even get, like, gumshoe giving... Yeah, yeah, yeah usually yeah. gumshoe comes in and tells us about the case first. We're going right, right to witnesses. Dog yeah, in. they don't give a shit. And so it begins. My first and my last trial as a defense attorney. Well, never say never, Edgeworth. Yeah, maybe you, maybe you'll really start to like this. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's so good. Hey, wait, hold on. They did this bit already. Yeah. This, this is a this is it's a, Cody they, Hackins again. They did this with Cody yeah. Hackins. That yeah. was they two did. whole that was two whole games yet ago, Wes. No yeah. one even remembers. <laughs> yeah. What Cody, the fuck is a Cody Hackins? Cody Hookins. Cody Hawkins. Uh, <laughs> State your name and occupation, please. Oh, hold on here. I'm not sure if... I'm not sure about being not sure if I care about... Wait, what? <laughs> I'm not sure about being not sure if I care for this at all. Witness, That's please it. stand up nice and straight. <laughs> Immaculate. <laughs> oh. Now that was good. Chef's that kisses good. left and right. Beautiful, so, baby. That's so fucking that's, good. That's wow. how you take a Cody Hackens bit and turn it And you elevate it. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. This is Cody Hackens, the sequel that we've been waiting for. Yeah. If this I is Cody Hackens correct. too, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> if I recall correctly, there are a few milk crates in the... Oh, look! They They're provide the milk crates. Yeah. There are a few milk crates in the defendant's lobby for witnesses with bad backs. Bailiff, 
fetch a crate for this poor lady, please. Wait, what is? Am I missing something? Or how would a milk crate help if you have a bad back? Crazy doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah. well, actually, I'm actually like missing something. I really almost obvious. made a joke about that. I guess the, assuming the bad back is like the like bent at a ninety degree angle and can't stand up all the way, but like. But how would a milk crate help with that? Well, you get a few feet because off the ground. You drink, because if you drink more milk, it makes <laughs> your bones stronger. It prevents osteoporosis, Bridge. Yeah. That's a good of a reason as anything. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> Once again, your name and occupation, please. Little old me? Well, I'm the head nun of Hasakura Temple on Eagle Mountain. My name is Bikini. You got it? Bikini? <laughs> nice to meet everyone. <laughs> but... Boy, I think I'm in love. <laughs> yeah. But you don't appear to be wearing a bikini right now. Ah! The courtroom is the garden of holy judgment. Those with lichery in their hearts should leave this sanctuary at once. Okay, I'll go to Horny Jail. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for the name of a fucking amazing like, D and D character attack. Yeah. The Garden of Holy yeah. Justice. Yeah. Yeah. That's, fucking, that's a, that's some fucking high level cleric shit. Chris, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Isn't that a bit in uh, No More Heroes? The Garden of Madness is what the, they the Garden it? of Madness is what she invites Travis Toss down to every time she's asking him to join to another assassin fight, thing. Yeah. Yeah, she beckons it back and to the Garden of Madness. The Garden of Madness. Of Madness. God, like this game. <laughs> I just got chills, literally thinking about holding the fucking Wiimote in my up to my ear. It's, it's so good. See, that's that's what happened to my wrist is playing No More Heroes. Too. Oh sure. Yeah, you gotta recharge <laughs> that sword. Gotta recharge yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sword, man. You want me to leave? No need to get your bikinis in a twist. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm a sight to behold in summer. <laughs> in any case... Witness, I hear that you saw the crime take place on the night in question. That's right! I can still hardly believe it myself, to be honest. There's no way dear little Iris can do anything like that. Let us hear what you have to say then. First, tell us about your own movements that night, eh? Wow, he really... Say a boot! He was like, let me say a boot and also a. Just to make sure <laughs> you know I'm fucking Canadian. Yeah, just, just to make sure that they don't think it was a typo. He's like, my mother was a moose actually, don't you know? <laughs> my father was a Mountie and my mother was a moose. <laughs> and my mother was a bottle of maple syrup. <laughs> they got they got married at a Timmy's. <laughs> and I was conceived in the back. <laughs> uh, and wow, look at that. All of our Canadian viewers just left all at just once. Jump ship. <laughs> Would you believe I, that? I didn't know we had so many Canadian viewers. No. I, we actually do have a decent amount of Canadian viewers. I'm not going to lie. I mean, wait, we have one Canadian yeah. team member. What's true? <laughs> Dog bless Elise. Yeah, and, she, and, she has, and she hasn't abandoned us after that <sighs> all, all this time. I don't know why. Dog bless you, Elise. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. That night, I was helping an acolyte with her training in the inner temple. And then totally ditched the bitch. But... <laughs> Well, as you can see, my back likes to act up violently. Wait, so she was so short because of her bad back? I think she's like genuinely bent over and can't stand up is the only way I can rationalize it, but... Yeah, sure. So I left Iris to help the Acolyte and returned to Hazakura Temple. There's no bath at the inner temple, you see, and I needed a long, hot soak. It was after I'd finished, just as I was heading back. That's when I saw it. Hmm. So it was simply coincidence that... So it was just a coinky dink that you found yourself returning to Hazakura Temple. 
Yes, you could say that. If my back hadn't been in so much pain, I would have stayed at the inner temple. That sounds like a pretty important statement she just made. There is only one problem with this testimony that I can see. Thank you for the tip, Edgerick. And you're not about to fall at the first hurdle now, are you, Miles Edgeworth? Shut Miss up. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please begin your cross-examination. <laughs> There's like a long, awkward pause, and he's like, Oh, right, me. Uh, shit. Um... <clears throat> cross-examine what now? I <laughs> uh, was helping with the training. I mean, he said something about her back. Well, oh, we have somebody we somebody yelling us to press at the first statement. Okay. Hold it. Press that first one. Hold it. What is this in a temple? Well, see, conversing with the spirits is what we train people to do, right? We'll be the ones asking you the questions, madam. In order to do that, a place strong in spiritual power is required. Okay, just ignore me. There's a small temple across Dusky Bridge called the Inner Temple. Acolytes must spend an entire night there to undergo intense training. And how exactly do you help with this process? It is all quite ex exacting. It can't be performed without a nun supervising. Like a tutor watching to make sure a spoiled child studies. A tutor with a whip in your case. If that is the case, then why did you return to Hazakura Temple where the murder took place? Hmm. Was that... Was that... I think you might be thinking of a different one because I don't yeah, know if that was wanna, necessarily that funny. I don't want to. I don't want to dunk on whoever that was. I didn't laugh at that. Yeah, but it, it was dunk worthy. <laughs> uh, we well, actually we we did get a new thing. What is the photo? Oh yeah, it's okay, that one. Just straight up. Actually, really quick, let's. Doesn't that? What? Doesn't that con Doesn't that contradict with something with a different photo we saw though? Let's let's actually go through what we have just so we remember it. Uh, died from ten to eleven. Loss of blood from stab in the back. Body fell ten feet after death. Oh, that's new. Okay, Do we know yeah, that? Yeah. Well, I mean, they talk. They talked about yeah. They talked about there being bruising on the body. Okay. Um, consistent with having fallen two stories. Okay, so yeah, she fell out of the room. Uh, yeah. or somewhere. Uh, Iris said, rang lights out bell at ten p.m. and then was in a room until the murder was discovered. Uh, Elise, okay, that's just living Elise. The weird picture by Larry that she didn't know what was happening, but she looked down the camera. Uh, cult magazine, it's them. Yeah. Also, fucking bikini with all the makeup on is just yeah, genuinely very, very funny. funny. So it's good. so good. <laughs> uh, okay, at 10.50, oh, snow, snow was happening, but lightning happened from 10 to 11. It struck the bridge at 10.45. And the fire lasted 30 minutes. Cool. The map, which we know. Yeah. Uh, this is Larry's blackmail Iris, letter to Iris. Larry's salutation That's here. Uh, Iris' it. hood. Text with evil spirits. The scroll that has Misty oh. Fay on it. Uh, yeah. The Shichishido, which has Iris' fingerprints on it. The staff. She doesn't have that amethyst, the Mikatama. <laughs> what, what utter, utter nonsense. What utter nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, and the attorney's badge. He wasn't serious when he gave this to me, was he? Where are you at? Where do you think you are right now? Where are you at? Where are you at? I'm, it's not like I'm going to defend anybody in court, right? <laughs> uh, he said something about the... Well, yeah, he said something about the back. Let's see what she says. Violently? That's right. It's no laughing matter, especially in winter. I can't hold anything heavier than a knife and fork during the cold months. Just being alive is like strict training. Bikini, me that's too. a fucking mood. Me too, bikini. <laughs> me too, bikini. God. Honestly, every, everybody. 
Like Every hashtag hashtag relatable. <laughs> Every breath is straining, am I right, folks? <laughs> <laughs> On the night of the murder, was this fabulous back of yours hurting again? <laughs> fabulous back. That's right. Raging like a bull in a pig pen. Almost, I almost fainted once or twice. I just knew that unless I warmed it up, it was going to finally finish me off. Uh, left the iris to help with the acolyte. You left Iris to help. With what? The Acolyte. What do you think? The Acolyte's training, of course. It was just past 10 p.m., so we were starting to enter into the training exercises proper. Wasn't your wasn't it your place to, to remain with the disciple? Well, the job is simply to watch over the Acolyte so that they don't pass away. Just to confirm this point again, your job is to make sure they don't die? <laughs> is Maya That's Faye not. alive still? What the fuck is going on? Someone, has someone been gotten, gotten to her card? yet? Also, where the fuck is Pearl? <laughs> there are lots of unanswered questions right now. She's nine Do years we have old. <laughs> Just to confirm this point again, that night... You met Iris in the Inner Temple, correct? Yes, yes. She's a gentle, honest girl. She's never once failed to follow my direction. Like when I told her to kill that girl. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Got me again, Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> uh, temple. No. I think... It's bound the room. Well, I don't know if that's a cross. I don't know if that's a. Yeah, that's interesting. Objection, but Iris didn't go to help the acolyte. I mean, hey, folks. Probably didn't need to do that, but it's fine. What happens here? Got him! Ooh. Witnesses have to undergo their own trials, I'm afraid. Oh, witnesses have to go undergo their own trials, I'm afraid. The defendant's fate rests on their powers of observation and memory, after all. Well, well, well! Don't worry, I'm more than up to the task. I'm a woman of faith, after all. The head honcho of Hazakura Temple. I do like bikini quite a bit. In that case, it, Miss she's pretty Honcho. Solid. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Honcho. <laughs> Miss Honcho. Oh my god. In that case, Miss Honcho, I'd like you to explain something for me. Miss Honch Crow. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you, I know a lot of bad hombres. <laughs> no, it's worth. Can't... I know Blanc. I know Blanco Nino. <laughs> I know a lot of Spanish, like Ole. <laughs> the discrepancy between your testimony and that of the defendant, Iris. She claims that after ringing the lights out bell, she went back and stayed in her room. Which means she did not go to the inner temple at all. No! She said that? Defendant or a witness? Who is more likely to lie, do you just suppose? The defendant is simply lying to cover her back. But that is completely illogical. The murder was committed in the courtyard of Hazakura Temple. Claiming that she went to the inner temple would make for a much better alibi. Damn. Damn. Is Get dunked on, Francisca. <laughs> Whatever Sorry, <they're> little sister. <laughs> I can't believe that she would lie. Hmm. She does indeed have the... <laughs> she does indeed have honest eyes. Oh! 
All people lie. That is my belief. Okay, well, this is a courtroom, not uh, Francisca's okay, theater. not a therapy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a judge, not a therapist, eh? <laughs> Why am I the only one being whipped here? <laughs> anyway... Neither the witness nor the defendant have any reason to lie. Well, I mean, uh, that's not that's, true yeah, the at defendants, all. Yeah, okay. Which means we must call your memory into question. Dear, dear, dear. You're older than me, and yet you want to play that game, do you? Her doing the serious face for this is like, I'll fucking Murder kill bikini. you. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like, this sprite makes me think that she, if I saw this sprite and I did not see this case, I would think she was the one who did it. Again, g like, genuinely, like, there are so many, like, and I hate that I'm going to mention this franchise. There are so many Danganronpa, like, fanfics of, like, which, like, of each character being the mastermind of their game. And this is Bikini's really? fucking mastermind sprite, like, 100%. Uh, <laughs> uh well, that isn't exactly what I... My memory is perfect, crystal clear, especially in winter. Then I suppose it's too early to end this cross-examination, eh? She's the ultimate bikini. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate, uh, like what, swimsuit model? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Edgeworth, if you are going to question the memory of this witness, you will need to show a more decisive piece of evidence. Understood, Your Honor. I was naive to think that alone that alone would do the trick. Then please add the defense attorney's heart. <laughs> I don't want to do it no more. Where? Box. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. Then please add your comments. Uh, please add your comments about Iris to the testimony, and let us return to the cross examination. <laughs> that night, I was helping an acolyte with a training in the Inner Temple, but wait—is this the new sentence? No. No. Acts up. Uh, no. Iris came to the Inner Temple. She was dressed exactly as she had it been at dinner. That's what? the new one. Why? That's new. Uh, why do you? Press. Is there is there another one after that that's new? No. no. Okay. Why why does she mention the dressed part? That's so specific. Well, it's that, probably well, gonna... didn't, didn't in her testimony say she like changed or something? Uh, she... No, just no. ring lights out and then she'll in a room. I mean I mean we do have her her hood, hood which she gave to Phoenix. Uh, we see before lights out. Lights out, Bill. The night of the crime. I mean, yeah. press this. Press this. I'd say press this first. Yeah. But I feel like the fact that Iris that we had Iris gave her hood to Phoenix is going to be important. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure you're not that you're not making a mistake? Oh, is it going to be that somebody murdered her wearing the hood, and they think that it's another it's another person wearing a fucking costume that committed a murder? I swear to God. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> You, young man, need to get your estimation of me up from the floor. You need to get your back up off the floor. You need to if it helps, up, I treat. Up. If it helps, I treat everyone like shit. <laughs> you need just to ask, on, just up. ask Adrian Andrews. Oh no! Oh no! Don't <laughs> ask Adrian. You need to come on, get up, get on the floor, and everybody rock, rock the, the dinosaur. dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a banger it's oh, yeah, it's yeah. trash but it's such a banger oh yeah uh, iris always wears the same clothes she's a cartoon character <laughs> we all are <laughs> this is all fake none of this is real <laughs> the smallest thing out of place would have stood out like a sore thumb to me and that's basically what I am. One <laughs> big sore thumb. <laughs> You're making a mistake, thinking I made a mistake. <laughs> An excellent finish there, witness. And she nails the landing. <laughs> what a good, what a, what an excellent uh, choice of wordplay. A judge gives her a 10 out of 10, eh? <laughs> Still, I have to wonder. 
Okay, there's something with that statement. Yeah, I think presenting the hood might be. A I good. mean, yeah, it's yeah. the one thing we have relating to clothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, music yeah, stopped. Music stopped. Witness. <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. Like your back. The defendant, whom you claim to have met, she was wearing this demon warding hood. Correct. My favorite, my favorite uh, children's novel, Demon Ru Demon Warding Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Little Red Demon Warding Hood. <laughs> that's, of a much that's a much different story. Yeah. <laughs> In that story, the hunter does not need to save her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very important piece of clothing. I'll have you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that that genuinely was last week when several people made the like, ha ha ha, I was joking or I was acting. Yeah, that, that's that hundred percent what that was. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, hold it right there. Why do you have that? My boyfriend <laughs> wore it like an I idiot. Stole it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question of the day, now isn't it, Miss Von Karma? I'll have you know that this hood was given to someone as a gift that night. Before the lights out bell was rung. What? You know where I'm going with this, don't you? If the witness had seen the defendant, as she claims, the defendant couldn't have been wearing this very hood. Well, well, well! Oh my gosh, she's so tiny! <laughs> Holy shit! She's shorter than Cody Hackins! Yeah, what the fuck? I don't think Cody Hackins needed that many milk crates <laughs> to stand up. I think he only had one. Yeah, that's pretty short. Bad feeling at all. It's not a bad feeling at all, exposing contradictions like this. Now oh, I understand that happy look on Wright's face every time he does it. Order! Order in the court! Oh! Sister. This hood. You have spare ones around the temple, don't you? Sister, sister. Spares? Well, I do tend to make too many of them. <laughs> I just imagine Bikini just knitting a shit ton of fucking hoods. <laughs> I see. A stockpile. A surplus of hoods, eh? Uh, something about that doesn't sound. Yeah, it's I, very, something about that I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I feel like I feel like he was trying to make a joke, but couldn't yeah. Uh -huh. Each nun is only given one hood. This should be the only hood that Iris owns. I feel like they should have given them more than one hood. You know. Yeah. Hmm. This then this is quite strange. Wow. If there was a surplus of hoods, then she could have worn one of those. There is no contradiction here. Hmm. Wait, is that what I'm like? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> that sucks. I hate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry to break this to you, Miss Von Karma, but you won't get away that easily. Discrepancies such as this will sow seeds in any human heart. The seeds of doubt. Witness, while I don't wish to call your testimony into doubt, you must give every detail with precision. I I'm not sure I'm comfortable going along with this. Sister, you shall continue with your testimony. Tell us what you saw after finishing your bath. On your way back to the inner temple. Those seeds of doubt are sprouting in the judge's heart. They just need Kingdom little... hearts! <laughs> <laughs> they just need a little more stimulation to bear fruit. Oh, shit. Contradictory stimulation. Uh, giant penguins. I bet you don't like the way I'm saying stimulation. To I yourself. need to stimulate the bikini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, scratch that. <laughs> giant penguins says Cody Hackens is that. four foot two and bikini is four foot seven. Interesting.
Ah, dang it. Uh, <laughs> Kurt was also says, dear sister. I'm not sure if you're referencing the SNL sketch, but that's what my head goes to. With the, oh, the what you say? What you say? Yeah. Still, one of, still one of the funniest sketches it's, of all time, if not the good. funniest. That's and without good. a doubt, Shia LaBeouf's greatest work. <laughs> <laughs> that you only met. And also, and honestly, that made me go listen to that song. It's a very good song. Yeah. Let's find out what Bikini did after the bath. <laughs> Ooh. All right. I finished my bath around eleven, and then I thought I should return to the Inner Temple. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And as I was walking back, I heard you say Zvari. Oh, <laughs> Zvari. <laughs> and as I was walking back, Zvari, I heard a noise from the courtyard. I took a look, and Iris was, oh, Mystic Elise, and with that okay. sword of all. That's things. the picture that absolutely didn't fit. That I didn't think fit with the yeah uh, how we saw the body. Yeah, this this picture is like from her memory. We don't yeah, actually have okay, pictures yeah. of this. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. Also, she's not wearing the hood in that picture. Right. <laughs> Mystic don't Elise is staying in the corner room, which faces out onto the courtyard. The stabbing I saw must have occurred after she was pushed out of her window. Oh, well, that's a contradiction right there. Yeah. Oh, you saw a truly terrible sight, didn't you? If I was in your place, then it would be much like Miss Von Karma whipping Mr. Edgeworth in two in court. And me uh, seeing it all from this very chair. Uh, well, something like that. Eh. This judge. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> His imagination is about as vivid and creative as Detective Gumshoe. I would look the fool if I commented on such foolishness. Francisco? <laughs> anyway, this case is mine. Miles Edgeworth. I genuinely forgot how much she loves saying the word fool. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah, she, hasn't said, she, she has not said it nearly as much as I would have expected her to so yeah, far, truthfully. Yeah. It's character Damn, he's fucking, he's fucking calling her out. Yeah. Calling everyone by their full name. Why'd you do something about that habit of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Just said, that's annoying. Stop it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can press stuff if you guys want. I think, I very think. Clearly so you can yeah, also just go yeah, right yeah. to the end to that statement about the falling and the not not coinciding yeah, with not being dead yeah. yet. Pe people are saying that this is the the first statement to press joke funny bit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How far is it from your room to the inner temple? Let me think a moment. Ah, about twenty minutes on these stumps of mine. <laughs> That's so far. It's about 15 minutes to Dusky Bridge from Hazakura Temple. You mean to tell me? Look at this map. No. Oh. Look at this map. That only takes you five minutes to cross that bridge and walk the rest of the path to Inner Temple? But it takes 20? 15 minutes to 15, get there. Sorry. I mean... Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, that kind of checks out yeah, based on scale, actually. Kinda, kinda, you know, I thought it was way worse. I'll probably cut that from the YouTube video. Uh, <laughs> oh, everybody demand the Schneider cut. Stop. Demand that he include it. They make fun of me enough already. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I did not. <laughs> the inner temple is just beyond the bridge. Still, you never made it back there that night, did you? That's right. I was heading along the walkway toward the main hall. It wasn't even that funny either. I also, I also don't think that was funny. Y'all? Yo. 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 I was starting to think y'all aren't funny. Pridge is the only funny one here, leave, as we learned. Leave the comedy to our real lawyer slash yeah. comedian. Bridge. Yo, side note, side note, side note. And when this is, this is, well, I'll, I'll keep this brief. When I was coming into New York, was uh, riding on a bus and saw 
a billboard for, I cannot remember his name, but I posted it in the Discord. And it was like, so-and-so, the funniest lawyer in New Jersey. Wait, what? And I don't know if he's like a lawyer that do, like <laughs> so, like night night times as a stand-up, or if it was just like, he's, he's a lawyer, but he's got a sense of humor. Yeah. What? But uh, can we like pitch Pridge as the funniest lawyer in Ohio? I feel like he could win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Bridge. I think that's how we get you started with your own law firm. <laughs> Just bill myself as funny. Funniest as lawyer. The funniest Bridge, lawyer. We're not, you are funny. It's a genuine yeah, compliment some, from, a friend, already already a friend. from a friend if to a friend. Appreciate that. From a friend to a friend. If somebody's already done it, then come on. We need to get you on the funny lawyer train. Yeah, if, if you don't believe me, then believe the hundreds of people on the internet. Believe like, the heart of the cards. Well, that too. But. Oh, is that? <laughs> Anyways, I think that is a genuine angle we could run for you. So, all right. Uh, let's, let's fucking with... dunk on this girl. Yeah. Uh, thing must have occurred after she was pushed out of the window. Get her. Get her. Our autopsy but... report says stab in the back. Fell after, after death. death. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Somebody's a dumb <gasps> dude. No, the best. Okay, the best thing would be here is if um, Francisca updated the autopsy report. Oh my god! Oh shit! Maybe <laughs> that would be incredible. I, honestly, she might. She might. That would be. That's the kind incredible. of shit she would pull. Genuinely. Hedra <laughs> just, just fuming. Uh huh. Did like, you just my date an autopsy report on me? Who does that? <laughs> oh, you are not getting a Christmas card this year. <laughs> Impressive logic. That's what I'd like to say, anyway. Impressive logic, not. Not. <laughs> <laughs> my logic, not. <laughs> Oh, please do. My brain is something else, especially in winter. <laughs> what is it with you in winter? However, I think you are overlooking one thing. Miss Von Karma, would you be so kind as to take another look at the autopsy report? The autopsy report. The victim did fall from a height of ten feet. However, this fall was after she was killed. Bum, bum, bum. Uh. Th that's right. It says after death right here. The scene the witness claims to have seen is contradictory. If the defendant stabbed and killed the victim there in the courtyard, how did the victim then go on to take a ten-foot fall? Ah! Uh. Order! Order! The victim was killed and then fell. If that is the case, then the victim must have been killed in her room. Don't you agree? That is the logical conclusion. Yes, that's right. The victim must have been stabbed by the defendant in her own room. And she was then thrown out of her window down into the courtyard below. Were there any signs of a struggle in Miss Donim's room? Signs of struggle? Hmm. That's a... That's actually... She was stabbed with a sword. That's a real thing detectives look for. That I don't wow. Think ever uh -huh. And that they, that they ever mentioned in this game before, actually. Yeah, good, good court job, Edgeworth. <laughs> she was stabbed with a sword. That would leave a blood stain. Wouldn't you agree? Well, Miss Von Karma, was there any blood? Wah! No traces of blood were found in the victim's room. Motherfuckery. Your whip has just caused traces of blood to be found around my <laughs> glorious playoff beard. God! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my God, is he fucking bleeding now? <laughs> Damn it, I meant to read his line, but he got whipped again. I'm sure there's no need for me to go over this. Please, God, call the police, bailiff, do something about the fucking whip, God. It's just starting to get excessive, exactly. don't you know? <laughs> Blood I'm on the ice. I'm involved in this one. <laughs> Yanni Yogi, was that you? 
I didn't know you oh, came what back. Are you, what are you oh, you were in jail <laughs> for killing that guy. Yeah, weren't you actually oh, convicted? No. No, it, I'm not Yanni Yogi. It's me. It's totally oh, different. Guy. Uncle, uncle. It's, it's me. It's everyone, me, uncle. uncle. Everyone's favorite character from fuck. What was the name of that Cartoon Network show? Uncle. Oh, Uncle Grandpa. Oh, uncle Grandpa. Grandpa. Oh, Jesus, did you just make an Uncle Grandpa joke? Yeah, hey y'all. Wow. In, in the year of our Lord, 2022. Lord, 2020? My only, my only reference to Uncle Grandpa is the Steven Universe crossover episode, and that episode fucking sucked. Yeah, that's a good yeah, point. The worst episode. And they, they did do that, and that episode does suck. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. I'm sure there's no need for me to go over this. As I'm sure your honor is well aware of when a stab wound produces the most blood. But what about when a oh. when a whip wound produces the most blood, you piece of shit? <laughs> you bitch. When it produces the most blood. Very little blood is actually lost at the moment of a blade's insertion. If you want to talk about when the blows, most blood would be lost from a body. It's when the knife is pulled out. That would be oh. when the blade is removed. Indeed. But the weapon's still in place. Yeah, but there'd be fucking blood in the room. It acts like a <laughs> lid on the wound. I'm sorry. That's true. With the weapon still in the body, there wouldn't be much bleeding. I mean... A, a perfectly reasonable line of thinking. <laughs> Dog bless you. <laughs> I feel like that also extends only when it's like a one-way insertion. I feel like if it goes in one way and out the other, uh, yeah. The the picture, showed, the picture they showed. The picture they showed was it stabbed Steward. through her body. Yeah. 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 yeah that's not gonna. To conclusion then. I don't think that's gonna seal off as effectively. Uh, also, Giant Penguin gives us some trivia in the Japanese version. The younger brother judge was called. Sai Saiban Khan, which also means the judge, but has a lower class than Saiban Cho, uh, which literally means presiding judge. The judge we all know and love is referred to as Saiban Khan in Ace Attorney 1, but got changed to Saiban Cho in Justice for All. Interesting. Ah. That's kind of cool that they like updated his like status and name in the end. Uh, yeah. That's cool. He got, prom he got promoted. Yeah. I guess Saiban must be like law or something. I forget <laughs> what Gakuten Saiban means. As I know, it's not lawyer. It's yeah. like Bengoshi. Beng Bengoshi. Bengoshi, I think, is lawyer, but I forget what Gakuten Saiban means. Mm. The victim was thrown out of the window with the sword still in place. People are saying this removes all of the contradictions. People are saying Saiban is either trial or courtroom. Ah. Interesting about trial. Maybe. Yeah, it makes sense. Order, order, order. I must admit that this is a probable version of events. I'd expect no less from Franziska von Karma. Oh no, now I'm referring to people by no, the full name. Just no. I was just gonna say something about that. <laughs> <laughs> She locates and takes control of every vital point. It seems that we need a clearer testimony from the witness. Remove all supposition on your part and tell us only the truth, please. Witness, please remain standing on the crate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go oh. selling me short now. It's so, so good every time. So just so funny. Uh, uh. The weight of winter snow has bent me out of shape. Especially my back and my mood. God, it's so good. Sister, please give us your testimony. Sister, sister. I will give you a vigorous massage once we are finished here. Whoa, that is a promise. With the whip. Well, that's not a very good massage, then. Oh, 
Oh boy! All right, all right. 